we start off the physics section of the tutorial by looking at the automatic connections that were made by ANSYS. We do this by maximizing the connections tab and then maximizing the contacts folder. If you highlight the contact region, you see that it was made between the I-beam and the application surface. This is exactly what we want. It created a rigid contact between these two pieces of geometry and treats them as one. So we can minimize the connection section and we will first be applying a fixed support condition to the back end or the negative X end of the I-beam. This is done by right clicking static structural, insert, and fix support. We select the face which we want to treat as a fixed support. This is done by clicking on this side and hitting apply. Next we will apply the 1000 pound load to the application service. This is done by right clicking static structural, insert, and force. And again it's going to be applied over a face so we select the correct face and hit apply. And then I like to change this to a component rather than a vector. And under Y component, I will enter in the negative 1,000 pound force. Now you may wonder why we are applying it to just the web as opposed to the flanges of the I-beam. And the reason being, we're not really interested in the deflections that are caused on these flanges. The main purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate the increased impact which shear deflection has on a short non-slender beam like the one we have here. We're more interested in the deflection caused across the entire span of the beam rather than the deflections at these flanges.